I'm going to show you how you can clear a user form in an Excel worksheet. Now, I have created user forms um, before that just have text fields in them. And so just clearing them, you write a little code and it says the value of the text field is equal to nothing. But for this example, I did this, um, this uh, schedule recently for a gentleman. And, and so here we have, um, here we have quite a few different fields. Now the employing names is linked to um, the the names that are in this this thing here. So it's a, a combo box, and so you pick up an employee. Let's say this one, and you pick the start month. And this is this is also connected to um, a range that I have um, I have selected. And then you have the day, which is just you know like the the twelfth or the sixteenth, let's say. Now, here's when it starts to get a little tricky. The next thing we do is we have um, we have option button here, buttons here. Well, I would usually refer to them as radio buttons, but they they are grouped together. They are grouped options so that you can only have, press one. So if you select day, you can't press night. If you select night, then day is going to go blank. And the same thing as off. If they're off, they can't be either day or night. Now, so that that causes a little problem when you're trying to clear this form. And uh, the paid overtime. Now, this is just um, this is just an example. Let's say they get paid overtime as opposed to um, time off in lieu of overtime. Now, so I have this code, and if you press the clear button because you decide you don't want to do this anymore. All the fields are absolutely blanked out, so you're not in any problem with any of this, these more difficult types of fields. So let me show you the code. So this is the code that's attached to my clear button on my user form. I found this code online. It was um, designed, it was on a help user group forum that was online, but it was designed for um, Microsoft a Access Visual Basic, so the user forms that are created in Microsoft Access. But I tried it on my Excel user form and it worked just perfect. So I thought I would show it to you all. And so here we have, um, so we it, it's a, a case select type option here. And then you have the text boxes which is what I was saying I normally do is I just say value equals nothing. But then we have check boxes and um, it says it's false. So if it's not checked, it's false. And then option groups. And so we're not, um, it's not gonna ruin my option groups or my parent groups. It is going to just clear out the values that you have there. So this is a what I found a good find for clearing out your user forms in the Excel, in a VBA user form that it was created, I will of course include, I will of course include this code in the description of my video. If you're interested in this, I have a mastering user forms course available for you to, to check out. I have a link below in the description. Please subscribe.